The top comics you need to know about for Monday, March 2nd, 2020. Hey everyone, it's VM Campos, comic book fan. Welcome to another Top Comic Book Picks with VM Campos. This is the series where I show you the comic books that you need to know about this week. Now we're focused on the final order cutoff date. That's the date that you've got to order these comics to be guaranteed to get them by when they release. So I'm letting you know the comics that you need to tell your comic book shop about to to order for you to get for the next time. Tell them VM Campo sent you. Now, as usual, this is the shorter version of the video, the free version of the video. You'll get some good advice over here, but if you want all to, if you want to know all about the comics that uh, I'm recommending, the longer version of the video, head on over to my Patreon, patreoncom campos For one dollar, you'll unlock that week after week to be made aware of all those great comics that are coming out that you need to know about. Patreon.com slash VM Campos. Let's get on with the show. All right, so the very first comic I've got for you right here is from Marvel. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 42. This is the Tony Daniel variant cover. This is the uh, Spider-Woman Jessica Drew cover. So if you uh, need this in your collection, you've got to order it by today. And now the description is, well... Knowing that Boomerang is doing sure didn't help, Spidey and Boomerang are in trouble in a very big way. Now, uh, are you in it for the story or are you in it for the cover? So if you want the, the comic, you've got to order it today. Uh, this is uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 42, the Tony Daniel cover. Uh, pretty cool style. We've got here Spider-Woman uh, taking precedence over uh, Spider-Man. Pretty cool. Uh, and there's a series of Spider-Woman covers that are happening. So if you want this one, you've got to order it today. Over at DC, I'm picking Action Comics number 1021. This is the Lucio Parillo cover. Again, if you want this one, you've got to order today to be guaranteed. Uh, amazing cover as usual. This is a very realistic artist. Now, I do have to say that I believe the women that he draws usually come out a little bit better. I think the Superman is slightly awkwardly posed. I like his upper half of he's like, you know, come at me, bro. But then his lower half is kind of weird. I don't know. Um... His expression is, is amazing. And now that I look at it, I don't like how the bullets are kind of bouncing off either. Uh, hmm. Well, if you want this Perillo cover, uh, final order, order cutoff is today. So tell your comics shop that you want it. Action Comics number 1021. Moving over to Image Comics, we're on the road to Savage Dragon number 250. So we've got number 248 uh, that you can get on this final order cutoff. It's the usual Eric Larson uh, comic book, uh, interior art, cover art, story, and everything. He's been doing this comic since 1992, since the birth of Image Comics. Pretty amazing. Now, uh, how does the math work up? Because Spawn has reached over 300 issues, and they're like at 305 or 6 or something, and this is about to get to 250, so Savage Dragon is 50 issues behind Spawn, but they started in the same year. I don't know the full story, but something's missing. 50 issues are missing there. Anyway, um, it's kind of really cool to see like this creator-owned comic being published this this long. Uh, yay for Eric Larson. A yay for Image Comics. So go off and order Savage Dragon number 248. Over at Dark Horse, I really like Hidden Society number two of four. This is the Raphael Albuquerque cover. I, I love this art. It, it's this like uh, looking down at you sort of pose. I get a couple of feelings here. One is that it reminds me of the famous shot of like the boys, you know, Garth Ennis's the boys. And then also these look like, um, like what Star-Lord type of helmet sort of thing. Um, I'm not reading this book. But uh, we've got a cover that kind of sold me, and the description also sounds interesting. After assembling the last stand between humanity and a primeval world-killing serpent god, Ulo the wizard leads the heroes of the Hidden Society to Europe, where they must stop a group of nihilistic warlocks from waking the serpent beast from the bowels of the earth. How could you not like that? So... Um, I think that's a lot of interesting uh, plot points right there. Um, it's number two out of four, so you could probably get issue number one if you go back to your comic shop. And if you don't want to miss 
any future issues is the final order cutoff for Hidden Society number two. All right, so I've got more comics to show you, but this is the short version of the video. If you've got one dollar, head on over to patreon.com slash vmcompost right over here. You'll unlock the exclusive version of the video. It's way longer than the shorter version, and we talk about way more comics that you will want, especially because the uh, final order cutoff is due today, so don't dawdle. Patreon.com slash vmcompost. Anyway, I'll be back again next week with another free version of the video to let you know what you need to know about in comics that are coming out very soon. This has been VM Campos, and I'll see you next time.